I do recognize uh, Comrade Ambassador Chris Mchangwa, our Secretary for Information and Publicity, and I also want to recognize you, members of the press. If you recall, the couple of days ago, I did announce the names of those candidates uh, who, had, who had participated in the primary elections and those who were leading in the, in the number of votes. And we said these were preliminary uh, results subject to approval by the Politburo. And I'm glad to say we have had two meetings so far. And uh, as Comrade Brown indicated to you, that we have now covered uh, six of our ten provinces, and we hope to finish the other four tomorrow. I will go through the candidates that have been approved to represent as uh, ZANU PF, and these are to do with the National Assembly, the senatorial seats. I will also touch on the women's quota. Um, and uh, I won't give you more information on the youth quota. We still want to get some verification on, on some of the reports that we have. So probably the next time we meet, I will be going through the youth quota. Bulawayo Central, that is the National Assembly. Tendai Charuka. Bulawayo North. Kosana Mkanja, Blawayo South, South, Rajesh Modi, Kaudri Park, Professor Mtuli Ngube, Entumbane Njube, Linda Chinamano, Amakandeni Luveve, Brian Samurio, Lobengula Magwegwe, Butolezwe Jovu, Mpopo Ma Mzilikazi, Admire Masikati, Nketa, Tavengwa Zijga, Kulumani, Freedom Murechu, Pelandaba Shabalala, Cecilia Verenga and Pumula Pumulani Nsingo and I'll give you the list of the female candidates put forward for the senatorial positions but sometime in the couple of weeks to come they will do the ranking but for now I'll give you the names of those who have been put forward or who have won in the elections in the, in the uh, uh, particular senatorial constituencies. We have, on the female side, for the Bulawayo province, we have Njovu Tombi Kaise, Maposa Fidelia, Moyo Esnat, Moyo Anna. And the, on the male candidates, Retired Colonel Chinga Dube, Alderman Nyati Abed Nigo, Alderman Jovu David, Mashava Eliphas, Chiponda Isaiah CC, Engineer Mlungis, Mlungis Moyo, and Shadrek Mushaba. On the women's quota, we had the following. Noweza Ulysses, Duve Molina, Jovu Tola Kelly, Sibanda Rejoice, Jovu Tariraishe, Chinyenye Tambuzai, Sibanda Sbongile, Nue Judith Mukwanda, and Sibanda Caroline. That completes Blauai province minus the youth quarter. I now move to Harare province, National Assembly. Budiriro North, Godwin Gome, 
budiriro south tatenda makwea chitungwiza north spencer machangara chitungwiza south goodwill mafuratidze churu i'm sure the comrade As I said earlier on, there will be comments on on Churu. It's one of those that comments will be made on. Zivarasekwa, love more Chamatoa. Epworth North, Kandishaya. Epworth South, Taedzwa Mutana. Glen Nora Mupindu Muchineripi Glen View North Witness Zamanga Glen View South Offered Muchuwe Harare Central Nyasha Zenda Harare East Mavis Gumbo Harare South, Trimo Kanopula. Harare West, Patrick Zindoga. Headcliff, Tongesai Mudambo. Headfield, Paidamoyo Nyamakanga. Highfield, Taka Mashonganyika. Unyani Tongai Munangagwa Kuadzana East Tell Me Majavura Kuadzana West Tauya Mauka Mabvuku Tafara Scott Sakupanya Mbare Again there will be a comment on that one later. Mount Pleasant. Biddle Gwasira. Southerton. Nyemba Maureen. Sunningdale. Lois Mahueva. St. Mary's. Nobet Jinjika. Warren Park. Tafadzwa. Shidawa Zengeza West Simon Chidakwa Zengeza East Mutimba Nyoka Kiev On the Senate the following have been approved Chikomo Mahia Douglas and Rosemary Sitole. Water. Tavengwa Charles and Ungwe Omega. Chitungwiza Obedaya Moyo. Chisipiti Stalin Maumau and Faith. Mango Mvura Chena Godfrey Gijima and Chi Janje Last Mbizo and Aida Mashonganyika on the women's quota DCC one Julia Chapanya DCC2, Messi Mugomo. DCC3, Betty Nambu Kaseke. DCC4, Messi, sorry, Nyasha E. Chikwinya. DCC5, Miriam Ara Chikukwa. And DCC6, Memory Mamio 
that completes Harare. I would like now to, as I said, that there will be comments made on some of the uh, constituencies. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Comrade PC. Uh, as you can see, we, the, the president and his political bureau takes these elections very, very seriously. Uh, this is uh, the second day of an extraordinary sitting of the political bureau as the national elections directorate of uh, ZANU-PF. Uh, this is uh, to supervise our primary elections and add finality by choosing the, by endorsing the candidates we have been uh, voted for by our cells and other and as, as, as the electoral college of this massive exercise. Uh, generally it went very well. We are happy with the diversity of the candidates. A lot of young people came forward to be candidates of ZANU-PF. This uh, reflection of uh, the smooth passing on of the baton between the old and the new and that is befitting of a party, the part of the Zimbabwe Revolution, the part which has been around from the birth of nationalism in the 1960s, uh, the party which uh, founded the Zimbabwe state by, uh, by, by Zanla and Zipra as the military wings, which are now the backbone of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces. So you can see that it's a part of continuous renewal, uh, ZANU-PF. And uh, yes, there are many young people, but there are also older people who have been retained in, the, in their various uh, constituencies. Uh, what it reflects is that it is the appeal of a candidate to the voter which matters. Uh, age is important, gender is important, but also is dedication to the ethos of the party. So those who were chosen by the people in various provinces, there have been almost a 99.9% .9 endorsement of the will of the people. There has never been any central direction by the party leadership to say we are the political bureau, therefore we are having guided democracy to put this one and not that one. No, it was uh, the expression of the popularity of the candidates from the voters. The instances in Harare, which are an exception where there was a rerun, is because there was violence in, in Harare. And uh, we felt, and the president is very strong on the issue of zero tolerance to violence, we felt that the voters were not given the rightful atmosphere to express whom they wished. The X is supreme. The X of the voter is supreme. So any other resort to extra voting measures for a candidate to ascend to become the party choice, the party choice in the coming elections is not being entertained, and will not. And the president is brooking no nonsense on the issue of violence. Uh, you may remember that uh, as we went into the elections, we actually had to dismiss a very hard-working young man in Epworth because of the issue of violence. We then proceeded to equally do the same thing during the endorsement of the candidates. And we are going to have free runs in Mbari and Churu. It's, uh, uh, we say charity begins at home, and that's what the president is saying. We will not accept any violent streak as a vehicle to the accession of, of, of uh, candidates by any of the members of the party. And it's a warning that as we go on, as we proceed, any member of the party who is engaged in violence, there will be either disqualification or there will be a reruns. And if there is a, any of that violence again during the rerun, the culprit candidate will automatically be disqualified, period. We will not entertain bad apples who temper with the choice of the people of Zimbabwe in their exercise of their democratic right to choose whom they want. Uh, we are a party which came, as I always emphasize, from ballot to office, even when we were on the verge of bullet to office. 
1980, 79, 80. So the X is sacrosanct in the ethos of ZANU PF as a party. Uh, this is by far in contrast with what's going on in the other party, where the process are not transparent, the structures are not even existing. Uh, where they say we campaign during the night like beds or owls when people are asleep, uh, where they say that uh, a coterie of the leader uh, is the one which chooses uh, the, the candidates in, an, in, an, in, in a non-opaque non manner, uh, where the old, the founders of the party are chased out of the party and they end up being a part of the opposition through their own splintering political parties. This is not the ethos of ZANU-PF. Ours is to embrace all to come into the fold of ZANU-PF. And it is reflected by the diversity of the candidates and the announcement. And the fact that so many have been accepted without any qualification by the Politburo should go very much to address the fears of those who say there may be a Boram Sangom in the elections. It won't be there because they've been open and democratic. And the results are posted on the various polling booths. They are there to be seen. And you can, you know, and that is what we are using. If ever there is anybody, there was, what the chairperson didn't say, uh, Comrade Bima, is that to help his job, he has an ad hoc committee independent of the elections directorate, which is acting as a technical assessor of complaints. So they have been they spent the last three or four days assessing complaints, making com comments on those complaints, and this has been the the the, the cross-checking material of the PC as he presents the final winners to the political. So it's not like it's coming from his head. All the complaints which have a valid reason, particularly those which come from losing candidates, because there's nobody as vigilant about his loss or win as the losing or the winning candidate. Those complaints are getting premise in consideration by that ad hoc committee. It's led by the Party Secretary for Legal Affairs, Advocate Mudenda, he is the Speaker of Parliament. He's the one who leads that ad hoc committee. So you can see that we are using the structures of the party to make sure that there's democracy in the party, but going beyond to say, to be seen to be delivering democratic party practice in the party. We are not just saying we are democratic. We are getting, we are, we are traveling the extra mile to entertain complaints. And those which have validity are the ones which cause reruns or disqualification. And that will be coming as we go along. So that is what I wanted to say from the onset. Thank you, Comrade mm -hmm. PC, with your wonderful work. Thank you very much, uh, and Comrade if there any, somebody can want, I don't know whether I want questions at the end of the day, but uh, uh, would you want questions by batch or we go through, then we have questions at the last minute? Because it's getting dark. You need to meet your headlines, deadlines. Uh, I think end of uh, proceeding. <coughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Mchangwa, for the comments. I will now move to Manikalen province. National Assembly, Buhera Central, Samson Matema, Buhera North, Philip Guyo, Buhera South, Mudekunye Ngonizashe, Buhera West, Mugwadi Tafadzwa, Chikanga, Kenneth Muchina, Chimani Mani East, Joshua Sako, Chimani Mani West, Wilson Maposa, Chipinge Central, Machingura Reimo, Chipinge East, Bulao Liwayo Lincoln, and um, I think, yeah, Chipinge South, Porusingazi, Enoch, Dangamvura, Jani, Clyde, Headlands, Mapfumo, Farai, 
Makoni Central Shepherd Mika Makoni North Muombi Joseph and I think uh, Comrade Mchangba will also make a comment on Makoni South. Mutare Central, Isao Mufumi. Mutare North, Admaya Mahachi. Mutare South, Dumbarimwe Tawanda and um, Mutare West again Comrade Mchangwa will make comments on that one Mutasa Central Innocent Benza Mutasa South Obey Vute Mutasa South Mishek Mugadza Musikawa Numutema Angeline Gata Nyanga North Chipo Sanyatwe Nyanga South Mandiwan Zira Super Makoni West Jenfan Muswere and I move to the Senate Buhera William Mutomba Chimani Mani Tembinkosi Chiwororo Again, there will be comments by Comrade Mchangwa on Chipinge. Makoni, Shadrick Chipanga, and Comrade Gandia. Mutare, Irene Zindi, Zimunya Marange, Monica Mchangwa, Mutasa Nyanga, Michael Nyambuya, and Hubert Nyanongo. The women's quota, Buhera, Beauty Mujingi, Chimani Mani, Patricia Kunjande, Chipinge, Evelyn Mutetwa, and we still want to verify uh, certain information regarding Makoni. Mutare, Mutandi, Getrud, Mutasa, Opa, Muchinguri, Nyanga, Teresa, Nyapokoto. And that completes the list. I would like to ask Comrade Mutrangwa to make comments uh, on uh, Manika Land. Yeah. Earlier uh, on in Harare province, I commented on the issue of violence. But beyond the issue of violence is also a consideration of the ethics, whether the behavior of the individual generally in society, or specifically during the elections, it fits in with the ethos of the part of the Zimbabwe Revolution, ZANU-PF. Uh, it is in this instance that uh, in, in Chipinge South, there was Nyamudzo Robert who was disqualified. The reasons is that he allegedly owns a factory at his home, and it is one of the biggest uh, brewer of uh, Tumboa and uh, Toriro. 
<laughs> this guy, this, yeah. this. You know, I saw some frightening pictures of small bottles in their millions, uh, which, are, which allegedly are from are used to bottle this dangerous stuff. You will recall that two, three sittings ago, we the Politburo had a big session and, and, and a long session on the issue of blood uh, drug abuse, particularly trying to push drugs through our young people in schools, in primary schools, even I mean in secondary schools, even. This is a menace which the country is facing. And uh, the fact that our currency is now the US dollar, because we are earning so much US dollars. And uh, it begs me people saying the country is being looted. Why are we having so many US dollars? <laughs> in the economy if you are being looted, you know. So uh, it has made also the drug pushers become a menace in our country because they don't need to convert their earnings into any other currency. <laughs> you sell this, you bring this, you buy this stuff on the global market in US dollars, you push it, you sell it in Zimbabwe in US dollars, and you go back and buy some more. So kunaga kwezimwe kushata kwezimwe. So unfortunately, this uh, candidate has been caught up in that, and the party is determined to show to the public that when we say no to drugs, we walk the mile. We will not embrace people with a cloud over them because of uh, it's questionable or nefarious, if not outright, outside illegal and dangerous activities which kill the fabric of society. Drugs are bad. They are pushed into the inner cities of America to make black people not be part of American society. You know, China fought against the British in colonial times because of the opium war, when the British were pushing opium to the Chinese people so that they become uh, indigent. So we will not accept that in Zimbabwe. We have a very hardworking and promising future for our youths. They cannot be waylaid by drug pushers or those who push alcohol to them, you know, you know, alcohol which has not been tested in laboratories and for which they do not have licenses for, you know, there were no private distilleries which then push this menace to young people and then destroy their, their, their lives, destroy their prospects of careers and frustrate the parents' desire that their children can be useful members of society. So this gentleman, this candidate has fallen foul to that structure of the party. And in his place, the number two, who is uh, uh, Porusungazi, is the one who has been now declared the winner. He has been disqualified because of, and he, I, I'm also told that he's got a court case actually, still going on, but for drugs, <coughs> we as a party do not have to, wor to worry about until you are innocent until proved guilt, no. If society sees you as discharging that kind of a nefarious role and there's evidence, the party has got a higher bar than the one of the Minister of Justice or the Constitution of Zimbabwe. It's an ethical issue and the ethos of ZANU-PF do not allow for people associated with the, uh, merchan merchandising, merchandising alcohol, illicit alcohol, dangerous alcohol to young people who otherwise deserve a better future if they are given a chance to go to school. This is why he was disqualified. The other one is Mutare South, Arawa Godfrey. He has been disqualified. Uh, there is evidence that ballot papers were tampered with. It may not matter who tampered with the ballot papers, but we do know the, the party established the beneficiary of that tempering. So, you know, it's, you know, the law of agents boomerangs to the candidate. So he has been disqualified because there are allegations and they were, they were brought into the Politburo that there was tempering of figures by this particular candidate or his agent, or it was for his benefit. So you cannot, and the, and the impact was very material to the outcome. The tempering was very material to the outcome of the elections. So we had to, the president says, I will not tolerate such kind of 
you know, conduct within my party and the Politburo also expressed the similar views. So he's disqualified. He's disqualified. So we are not, this is not a, a part of friends or, or relatives or clansmen. This is a part of committed cadres who want to make sure that the party goes well. In similar vein, there's a candidate, a young candidate called Moses Ruona. He became a candidate in Makoni, West. Yeah, I can ask Comrade Jennifer, Honorable Jennifer uh, Moswere. Yes. We tried to follow the paperwork of this candidate from wherever he was working as a party cadre before he went to Man. From, he was moving from Mat North to Mash to Macon West in Manikaland. The paperwork doesn't fit. Some of the letters they were actually written at the height of COVID, when the party was not when the, the statutory instrument had stopped all political activity. So how he could have obtained a letter of transfer from one province to another at the, at the exactly the same time that we had no party activity through a damper on his credentials to stand as a candidate in Marconi West. Uh, furthermore, the hierarchy of the party in that province was not in, in the picture of his transfer, and there seemed to have been a retroactive attempt to justify his transfer in order to make him a candidate. Uh, the system has flushed him out, and he is now no longer a candidate, and Comrade Jennifer Muswere stands for him. Those are the aspects of ethos and, and of ethics, and also aspects of threatening criminal behavior, but also of dangerous uh, conduct by certain candidates, which militated against them being successful, even though they may have won the vote at the primary elections. I thank you, Komachi. Thank you very much, uh, Comrade Mutsangwa. I now move to Mashonaland Central Province National Assembly. Bindura North, Musani, Kenneth Shupikai. Bindura South, Matangira Remigius. Guruwe North, Tendai Pinduka, Guruwe South, Christopher Magomo, Mazoe Central, Njanji Maxmo, Mazoe South, Mazungunye Nobet, Mazoe West, Kazembe Kazembe, Mbire, Karoro Douglas, Mount Darwin East, Butau Zizai, Mount Darwin North, Munemo Labani, Mount Darwin South, Mupamanga Kudakwashi. Mount Darwin West, Jonga Witness. Muzarabani North, Soda Jemu. Muzarabani South, Kabirika Benjamin. Rushinga Nyabani. Tendai Shamba North Chinoda Kufa Isaac Shamba South Joseph Mapiki and Mazoe North Makumbe Tsungai Mashonal in Central Senatorial Positions Bindura Shamba, Mavunga Monica, and Nicholas Goche, 
Guruwe mbire Chuma polite And kambizi Eleven Mazoe Angeline Tongo Gara And Makumbe George Mount Darwin Chimbudzi Alice and James Makamba Muzarabani, Muzarabani Raradza Edward and Rushinga Darwin Kadungure Dorothy and Dokora Lazarus that completes the other the senatorial let me move to the women's quarter Bindura Shamba Dorothy Mashunganyika Guru Mbire Chibagu Gertrude Mazoe Tsitsi Gezi and Mount Darwin Elizabeth Shongeza and Muzarabani Fres Fresca Nambo and Rushinga Darwin Chipo Masenda that completes Mashona and Central Province without the youth quota. Uh, thank you, uh, Comrade PC. Um, there, there are some highlights which we would want to point to you about Marshalland Central. Everybody knows it is the bastion of Zanupio. Mm -hmm. And uh, the turnout, even for the primary elections, uh, reflect a thundering endorsement of the ruling party. Here we are talking of big figures coming from Marshalland and Central. And uh, if you consider that this is where the revolution took root in the 1970s. That's where we implanted our army to become an indigenous Zimbabwean army rather than hitting and retreating to Zambia. So this is a, a tempered province in terms of uh, support for the ruling party in support and a stalwart province in terms of uh, the permanence of the Zimbabwe revolution. And their participation in the primaries reflect exactly that. Uh, more so this year when we are going to have our independence celebration at where the first gun was fired which ushered in the decisive phase of the Chimurenga war when our army became part of the population like fish in water and did not have to retreat like it had been the previous instances of roving rebel warfare back to Zambia. Uh, another aspect from the selection, from the endorsement, we have the young man Kudakwashi Mpamanga uh, he is a son of one of the war veterans who left university in 1975 to go to war and served for many years both as a, in the oil and energy industry as well as in the president's office as one of the cabinet secretaries, deputy cabinet secretaries, Mr. Justin Mpamanga. And the mother is also a war veteran. We are, I'm the chairman of the War Veterans Association of Zimbabwe. We are very happy that young people who have the pedigree of this nature are coming to join the party and to participate in elections and win fairly without uh, backing on the or without hacking on the fact that their parents were war veterans. He won fair and square. And uh, believe you me, many young people who have a similar background are taking an active interest in the revolution of Zimbabwe because they know what their parents died for. And it is a good thing to have families of patriots, not just patriots as individuals, but to have families of patriots take an interest and give this continuity to the Zimbabwe revolution from an organic point of view within a family. The other aspect is the Angeline Tongogara, our senator, from that area, the widow of our legend, legendary general, the one who implanted that war in Zimbabwe 
1969 together with Herbert Chitepo, our chairman. So they love, they love her, and she has come with a, a unanimous uh, endorsement by the electorate of uh, constituents. This is a good thing. We love it when illustrious figures of the Zimbabwe revolution do get such, credit, such a recognition and credit from our electorate. We believe that she will sail through and win more votes for the party as we go to the national harmonized election. The other, uh, the other two aspects I want to highlight is uh, the president says he will leave no one behind and no place behind. This has even extended to the impress of the former G40s. And here we've got two prominent figures from the G Gamma Talks and G uh, G40 era who have made it back into the party and they have won elections. The one, first one is Nicholas Koche. You can see now he's one of the winning candidates. And the other one is uh, James Makamba. He was of, often associated with certain political figures in the past, but he has come back with a big bang in the party. Uh, we always, as much as possible, stretch our hand to accommodate differences within ZANU-PF. That's why fishing until we run out of the alphabet is not a feature of ZANU-PF. That's why changing names in order to run away from fishers of the past, from MDCT triple C, is not the way we do things in ZANU-PF. If we can find a room to accommodate each other, we will leave no stone unturned. And that's what the president did. That's why nobody was being disqualified for frivolous uh, differences in the past. And the, their selection and election by the electorate is a vindication of the correctness of the president's position that at the end of the day, let the people choose. ZANU-PF is the home of democracy. That's what we, I want to emphasize. And there's no other champion of democracy in ZANU-PF than our president, Idi Mnangab. Yeah, we could have used any reason to disqualify these people, but uh, he couldn't brook them. He said, let the people make a choice. And then they are successful candidates in Mashola and Central. I thank you, Comrade Nancy and peace. Thank you very much, Comrade Mtrangwa. And the other one, too, is Comrade Okora. Also, you know, he, he had gone with the, the, the Gamma Talks, but he was a former Minister of Education, you know him. So he, he won his, as a candidate. We are very happy and we congratulate, congratulate all those open. Actually, there was uh, some clapping when these names were said to be winners, which shows the spirit at which the party is welcoming them. This is the work of our PC. He's the one in charge of retainees of all sorts. Mm -hmm. These are retainees of a kind. Mm -hmm. Thank you, please. Thank you very much. Once again, Comrade Mchangwa. I move now to Mashonaland East Province, starting with National Assembly. Chikomba East, Felix Mona. Chikomba West, Tatenda Mavetera. Goromonzi North, Ozias Vute. Goromonzi South, Tinashe Chikonye, Goromonzi West, Beatrice Nyampinga, Maramba Pfungwe, Karuma Zondo, Tichawona, Marondera Central, Klopas Kundiwona, Marondera East, Vimbai Mutokonyi. Marondera West, Tavaziva Godwin, Muzi North, Muskwewe Shiri Benjamin, Muzi South, Sam Kange Jonathan, Muzi West, Kaitano Knowledge, Murewa North, Daniel Garwe, Murewa South, Mangondo, Noah, Murewa West, Jere Farai, Mutoko East, 
Musiwa Richard. Mutoko North. Makwiranzo Caleb. Mutoko South. Tuscany Isaac. Rua Central. Gwanzura Oswell. Seke Kashamba. Kashambe Munyaradzi Uzumba Wiriranai Muchema Wedza North Ndudzo Itai Wedza South Machakaire Tinoda I then move to those Successful on the Senate list. Seke Chikomba, Mike Bima. Mutoko, Nyakudanga Odo. Maronde Raweza, Michael Madana, and Apollonia Munjerengui. Goromonzi, Marufu Ramson. UMP Muzi, Gotora Jerry, Murewa, Chinyanga Betha, and Jacob Stanley. And on the women's quota, Chivavaya, Faith, that is Maronde Raweza, and Murewa, we have Musarurwa Petronella, Sura Nyarai from Toko, Sekechi Komba, Mushure. More blessing. UMP Muzi. Hope Zimuto. We still await further information for Goromonzi. That completes Mashona Land East. Uh, do you have any comment, Comrade Mchangwa? Well, very brief comments, uh, more or less on the, my last intervention, to add more to the people who have been embraced, who had left the party because of the convulsions of the last, uh, of leading to the Second Republic. You see Beatrice Nyampinga, she's back. She was in Parliament before, fell out of the party, and she's been, she came back and she contested. She was not deterred from contesting because of this recent past, Noah Makondo, no similar persuasion. She he also was allowed to contest, which really shows that we are making every effort to reach out to anybody under the ZANU-PF in Bahuru. There is room for everybody in ZANU-PF. And uh, the popularity is reaching out to some personalities, you know. Uh, I, I, I used to know Farai Jere, I think it was also to the green machine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Caps the time when it was doing very well. So here is a prominent a Zimbabwean personality in the soccer domain who has decided to join the political fray in order to see what he can do for the Zimbabwe people as an MP. And he has made it. So again, we are all embracing as a party. The youth, uh, those from other walks of life, and the, the old, uh, the gender positive aspects by the women's quota, which you see being announced, reserved for women. And uh, we'll, we'll be filling up with the youth quota because we want to make sure that it reflects the balance of young men and young women. So this is ANUPF in Bahuru, in Okwanamun West, I think. Thank you, Comrade Mutsangwa. Just to add as well that, as you know, the party is a way of encouraging women participation came up with this, with the women's quota, where we are talking about 60 seats 
reserved for women and therefore states that uh, every province must have six members. However, the party has even gone further to say out of those six, one of them should be a young woman below the age of 35. Yes. Some of the provinces have conformed and those who haven't we will be going back to them so that they conform so that one of the six must be a young woman of 35 years or below yes this is this is an appeal to the girl child to say that there is room for you in politics uh, we always say the freedom of the zimbabwe woman is not something which is a charity from men you can't fight and win a people's war during the war when half of the population is not participating because we had to fight a people's war. So we had to, uh, to make sure that everybody was mobilized and galvanized to fight. That includes the other half of the population. So we are very conscious of the historical burdens which tend to militate against women going getting into politics. But uh, we are also very aware that countries with the happiest index in the world are those where women are participating fully in society, the Nordic countries. So we are consciously driving towards recruiting and encouraging women to come into the fold of ZANU PF. Um, in, there's a, in addition to what you said, there's a third element. On the reserved Senate seats, six per province, we have a zebra arrangement. Mm -hmm. The first one in all the six provinces will be a woman. The second one, a man. The third one, a woman. The fourth one, a man. The fifth one, a woman. The sixth one, a man. So in constituencies where we get 100% support and we win all the six, six Senate seats, you can be assured that there will be three women from ZANU-PF who will be representing the party, in addition to those whom he has mentioned. So we are doing our best to address the gender issue and doing our best to encourage, to give hope to the girl child that there is a life in politics for women. This is the thrust of a revolutionary party. We want the whole society to be engaged in the governance of that society. This is democracy at work in ZANU-PF. We still have Matabela and so our, yeah, our last province, but not the least, is Matabele North Province. National Assembly, Wange Central, Reeds Duve, Wange East, Sikuka, Alwis, Wange West, Moyo Pilani. Bubi Sibanda Simelisi Zwe Cholocho North Sibangumuzi Kumalo Cholocho South Musa Nwe Nkai South Mate Stars Umguza, Richard Moyo, Binga North, Munsaka, Kudakwashi, Binga South, Piri, Challenge, Lupane East, Fatisiwe, Nube. Lupane West, Jovu, Mpumelelo. Nkai North, Stembiso, Nyoni. Mat North, Senate. Umguza, Bubi, Obed, Mpofu. Binga, Fanuel, Rebecca, Lupane, Headman, Moyo, 
wange mkanja moli and fati mpofu cholocho matema kain and alice dube matebelele north women's quarter musikwe juliana for binga wange sipiwe mafua lupane mail komo umguza masuku elizabeth and cholocho moyo sitanda zile that completes Mat North, with the exception of the youth quarter. Thank you. Done. We are holding. We are holding very high hopes about Mat North. Uh, the by elections which have been going on there clearly indicate that the party is, is gaining ground, in a, especially in the bigger area. But you also notice that some of the biggest investments in infrastructure this country has seen is in Mat North. From two aspects, there is the Guayashangani Dam, which will change the lives of all the people in Mat North, all the way to Blawayo. Then there is the huge investments in the energy sector in Wanke. Uh, just last week, we managed to fire a new power station, 330 megawatts. This is a coal-fired plant in Mat North and Wanke. We uh, expect another one to be going on stream in the next couple of months to address the perennial power shortage by a very reliable source which God gave to Zimbabwe, which is a coal, more reliable than the waters of Kariba. You saw what we went through in the year of drought. So, and then I'm told now there's a private power station going on already supplying power from Wanke. Another one is on the cards. And a big one is also on the cards. But beyond supplying power, we are also doing coking coal in Wange. Um, we now export coking coal to South Africa after our own internal consumption. We export coking coal to the DRC. We export coking coal to Zambia. Uh, this is a new phenomenon. This is a new development in Zimbabwe. That's why the country is beginning to earn so many US dollars, because our export drive is gathering pace, and uh, Mat North is right at the center of these new developments, these new investments. So we are confident that we have a message which will resonate with the populace in Mat North because of the attractive investment climate which is being pushed by President Idi Mnangagwa and his Second Republic, and also his partiality towards some of the dear cherished projects like the Mchabezi, the Guayashangani Dam. These are projects which are of national importance and they are happening in Mat North. This is something good. You contrast now with the, the other party. Never do you see Chamisa with a businessman. Even when he went, goes to America where there are some of the best business people in the world, he hopes no, hope no to the politicians who are waiting for, for trinkets from their government. He doesn't talk to businessmen. So how do you expect such a kind of person who has no vision about how to develop a country uh, to actually, the, his ticket is suffering. And we are determined to show that our ticket is hope and economic success for the Zimbabwe population. And no province is showing as much promise as Mat North in this aspect. So we will campaign hard between now, you know, we've been told already, the elections will be coming between July and August. I think you now know the, 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 the ballpark dates. We, we, by the time we get there, the uh, triple C will be history. We are determined to bury an indigent and useless party which does not know its responsibilities to the urban electorate to which it has been uh, serving for the past two decades with nothing except putridge decay, no industries, Rivers which uh, come from roads during the dry, the, the wet season, 
you no know, collection of rubbish. You know, everything negative about neglecting a city is the hallmark of the tri of triple C. And then they blame it on the central government as if they are not elected. Why get elected if you are going to be indigent? You might as well say, and I told you for terror was in July more and dogs of blame. Now you are riding the bike and you want to blue you are riding the horse and you want to blame somebody else. That's who, this time we will be driving hard the urban electorate to make sure that the triple C loses because of their neglectful account, negligent account of the urban constituencies. That's why we're working so hard as a party. You can see the selection of candidates is a serious affair to us. Spending so much. Now this is going to be the third day tomorrow <laughs> on the same issue when you'll be back again. So thank you so much. We're going to have, no, we're going to have rerun, complete. Okay. And we emphasize to the candidates, if ever you commit an act of violence or impropriety, this time your opponent automatically wins. If both do, they will be disqualified, both of them. We are not brooking any wayward behavior as to the issue of violence, particularly intra-party violence. Charity begins at home in Zanupia. And just to add that um, before the rerun, these candidates will be called up to the party HQ and we'll have quite a a, a, a discussion where all these issues will be stressed, as uh, as Ram Changwa has said, to ensure that uh, when we go for the second round, we don't see the things that we saw last time. And that is the responsibility of the candidates to ensure that their supporters also conform to the values of the party that we don't condone violence. Right. Thank you. Anyone else with a question? I think after our meeting tomorrow, we will be able to know when we are going to have the rerun. They will be done as soon as possible after the meeting tomorrow. We want to, we want to put this curtain behind. We now want to focus on the national harmonized elections, mm. so we can't afford to continue to uh, to muck around with uh, reruns and all the other things, and to generally cause internal acrimony. No, we want to have a finality. That's why they will be called to say, if you do certain things, you will be disqualified. We want it to be the final. Then we focus on the big task, the more remolding this team into one solid uh, phalanx, one solid front to direct our attention against the opposition, which is losing steam because even their overseas supporters are beginning to abandon them. Neutrality to the electoral parties in Zimbabwe by America, we take it with a lot of joy in ZANU-PF, but I don't know whether it is the same from the other party because they are estuarine patrons are becoming neutral. Yeah, they must be gnashing of teeth in the in triple C. That they are no longer the only favorite child for the big aunt.